How do we know for a fact that we have crossed over from death to life? Because we love our brothers, says John. Love is the preeminent Christian virtue. It is the first fruit of the Holy Spirit, Galatians 5.22. Love is the expression of faith, Galatians 5.6. Love is the greatest of the three graces that endure. It is greater than faith and hope. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 Love is the surest test of having life, as it has already been shown to be the test of being in the light. 1 John chapter 2, verse 10 Because we love our brothers, we know that we have passed from death to life. John's contrast of death and life, of darkness and light, of hatred and love, is clear and categorical throughout this epistle. If we know that we have crossed from death to life because we love our brothers, we also know that anyone who hates his brother is still in death. He is in fact a murderer, like Cain, and we know that no murderer has eternal life in him. To hate your brother is equivalent to murdering him. Jesus said in his Sermon on the Mount, Anyone who is angry with his brother will be subject to judgment. Anyone who says, You fool! will be in danger of the fire of hell. Matthew 5, 21 and 22 Just as possession of eternal life is evidenced by love, so hatred is evidence of spiritual death. How do we know what love is? Love in our day includes a broad range of meanings, from Hollywood to heaven. John reminds us that this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. The essence of love is self-sacrifice. If Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him, Genesis 4 verse 8 Christ laid down his life for us that we might know what love is. Cain's hatred issued in murder while Christ's love issued in self-sacrifice. A person's life is his most precious possession. Therefore, Christ is presented to us as the supreme example of love because he laid down his life for us. If to rob a person of his life is the greatest sin we can commit against him, then to give our life on his behalf is the greatest possible expression of love for him. Jesus died on the cross, laid down his life voluntarily as the supreme sacrifice for sin. Not only is his death the proof of his love, it is also the demonstration of His love for us, according to Paul in Romans 5.8. For us, we who deserve only death may have eternal life because Jesus died for us. Friend, have you responded to Jesus and His love? You may do so today and pass from death.